Good morning, friends. Um, I'm making this video today to test out a new program called VocoScreen. It is a Linux desktop recorder. It is supposed to be able to uh, capture audio, system sounds, uh, the mouse movement, and uh, I've discovered that it also has a webcam option to where I can use the cheap webcam that's built into my cheap Dell laptop. Uh, while it may not look great, it is a webcam. I've got a better one. I just don't have it hooked up to this laptop right now. Anyway, I decided uh, yesterday that I needed to start using Linux more. For years and years, I have dual booted Linux and Windows. Um, but every version of Linux I've tried previously, I've had issues with one thing or another. I couldn't get everything that I need to work, so I've always had to depend on Windows. Uh, but now, I have on three of my computers, two laptops and one of my desktops, I have Linux Mint. 19.3 cinnamon desktop installed and I have so far been able to install and make everything work that I need. While I like Windows 10 it is definitely a little more polished and the applications are a little more polished the installation procedures are a little more polished uh, you have less issues. However, I was able to research the issues that I had on my main desktop computer, which I bought, oh, in December of 2010. So it's almost 10 years old, but it is still a good computer. It has the AMD Phenom 2 processor, which has six cores running at um, over 2 gigahertz. I currently have 8 gig of RAM and I could bump it up to 16 gig of RAM to improve the performance a little bit and I also could install a SSD which would improve the performance but it seems to be okay and those are things I could do in the future if I want to try to squeeze a little more life out of that computer but with this version of Linux, I was able to get a TV tuner working where I can watch over the air uh, TV shows and record them. I can also hook up a cable box and watch cable TV. Um, I've got a scanner hooked up that I can scan. I've got a web camera hooked up where I can record videos. I have a little HP laser jet that I can print to and I can share the printer with Windows and Linux workstations and print and I can also do file sharing. I can edit photos and I can edit videos. So while Windows 10 is a little more polished I can do everything I need with that computer and this particular version of Linux. Now you might ask why all of a sudden am I making this video? Well that's because right now I'm on a laptop that I bought in July of 2015. It had Windows 8 on it but it was advertised as being Windows 10 ready because they were getting ready to release uh, Windows 10. And over the years it has worked fine with Windows 10 every now and then the Windows updates would break my grub bootloader and I'd have to repair grub so I could boot Windows and Linux and while that was a pain in the butt I was able to do that however over the past couple of weeks I've had six blue screens of death and two of them were yesterday so I thought well this is a five, almost five-year-old laptop. I'll see if I can squeeze some more life out of it just by running Linux. And if it doesn't blue screen, if everything works, I should be able to use this for a while longer. 
on this particular laptop I've got a web camera and I also have a better web camera that I can hook up USB and it works as well uh, I've got video editing I've got open broadcast studio which I can make <clears throat> streaming YouTube videos with if I wish or I can record the videos um, it's got of course word processing and all everything that I need video editing photo editing so anyway this is just basically a little test video to make sure I've got everything configured right in this program uh, making sure I can capture the mouse and the windows and of course the webcam window and uh, let's move this out of the way over here and of course um, I need to be able to record system sounds let's see what Chris has to say this morning at you all we know a move can be exciting I got it perhaps you landed that big promotion or maybe it in this video I'm going over setting up terminal and all the useful commands you need to know to be efficient in Linux. Well, so this is a part one that might be series, something I want. I'm going we'll over the watch basic that commands later. and going into some really good tidbits, so if you're an advanced user, you might get some. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to close out this video. It's almost seven minutes long, and I may or may not post it to my YouTube channel. And if y'all need any help, uh, I can point you in the direction I had to go to get my stuff working. And on that note, I'm going to stop this video. I want to add an addendum to that last little video I made <clears throat> to make sure that everyone understands. <clears throat> By no means am I an expert, but I was able to research, do web searches to find out the uh, solutions to some of the problems I was having getting the TV tuner, the scanner, the webcam to work. Also, I wanted to mention that I can record from the cable box um, TV shows for watching later. And uh, also, the main applications I use in Microsoft Office are Excel and OneNote. And um, basically, <clears throat> I've been adding my OneNote notebooks to Evernote web version and the little bit that I do there's plenty of free monthly uh, storage for Evernote to suit those purposes so I can do without Microsoft products if I have to <clears throat>